Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and today we have a special tournament style competition for you. This week we are discussing and figuring out what is the best Disney animated song. So I have assembled a group of friends here, Disney music experts, if you will, to help me in deciding what the best Disney song is. So before we jump into everything else here, I just wanted to give a few disclaimers. If you're not following me on Twitter, particularly on how these songs came to be and how some of these rankings seemed to happen, because yes, some of your fan favorites did quite get quite the low seating. But first and foremost, Oscars were taken into consideration. So Oscar winning film songs are the top seeds. Then Oscar nominees make up the next level of seeds. And from there, all the rest make the final portion. Now, how do we differentiate in there? Well, it came down to Grammy wins. Maybe it was just Grammy nominated. How high did it end up charting on the charts? And then other lists that I kind of looked over to get a grip of the general consensus online. So that's how this rankings and seeds came to be. Now only Disney animated songs are included. So nothing from the likes of Mary Poppins or Song of the South are included in this tournament. Same thing with Pixar, it's just Disney animated studios. Uh, so no Toy Story, no Monsters, Inc., even though they both have Oscar winners in their caliber. No Coco. So with all of that out of the way, I would like to introduce my four panelists for this tournament. Kicking us off with YouTube's residential Disney lady, we have Rachel Wagner from Rachel's Reviews. I feel like I should break into an I want song here. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for having me. This is very exciting. And then another film YouTuber here who has been on the channel recently, and I've been over on his channel many a times, we have Mr. Rotten or Fresh himself, Ryan O'Toole. Hi, what's going on? Uh, thanks, Larry. <laughs> th thanks, Larry, for having me. I'm excited. I'm a Disney fan, as you can see. <laughs> we also so, have, we have Cody O'Toole in spirit as well. He, he, yeah, he says, hi. <laughs> he's, he's there <laughs> somewhere, maybe. <laughs> And then we have one of Rachel's co-hosts over on her animation segment podcast. We have Jonathan North. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, thanks for inviting me. Yes, thank you so much for coming on. And finally, we have from All the Feels podcast, Dory. Welcome, Dory. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, I am very excited as well. So for this tournament, though the statistics and the awards helped us get the seedings, this is all going to be based on our own opinions. So we want to hear your opinions. I know you might be yelling and screaming in the comment section as we move through this bracket, but it's all just for fun. Plus, there was a fan vote that has been revealed that also took place. So I can't wait to see if we match up with the larger vote. So as we work through, we have 64 total songs, which means 32 matchups to begin to get down to one final jam. So let us begin. Kicking us off with the number one seed, A Whole New World from Aladdin versus the number 64 seed, Lost in the Woods from Frozen 2. So Rachel, why don't you kick us off? I love Lost in the Woods. I really do. It's one of my favorite songs. Uh, I know that objectively A Whole New World is the better song. Um, I'll go with A Whole New World. I, I do love Lost in the Woods, though. I think it's so funny. I died laughing. I thought we might have had a controversial pick there. So uh, yeah. one, <laughs> one vote for A Whole New World. Jonathan, <laughs> how about you? I kind of feel the same way, but it, maybe I'll make the controversial pick and I'll go for Lost in the Woods. Oh, you're braver than me. All right, so we're tied up. <laughs> uh, Dory, where do you vote? I'm going to go ahead and vote for A Whole New World. Um, I agree with Rachel, but A Whole New World is so iconic. 
I gotta go with it. <laughs> the uh, fun fact, A Whole New World is the only Disney song to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100, so. See, I got <laughs> it. I thought for sure that, uh, that Let It Go did. Not that, quite. It's, it's really interesting. Let's see if that statistic influenced Ryan's vote. Where does your allegiance lie? Yeah, I can't be the sole vote here and pick um, Lost in the Woods. I do like that song. I like Kristoff as a character, but I got to go a whole new world. That's like top <laughs> 10 Disney songs. Come on. All right. So <laughs> all of my guests voted for it. Other than Jonathan, he was the, the brave soul. But I also <laughs> would be voting for a whole new world. So our number one seed skates into round number two from a vote of four to one. Now moving right along, I'm going in bracket order, so we're not going in seed order. <laughs> I, I've got my, my trusty bracket sheet here uh, <laughs> that I'll be working from off the scene here. So next matchup is our closest seeding pairing. We have number 32, What's This? from uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and number 33, Once Upon a Dream from Sleeping Beauty. So, Jonathan, why don't you kick us off this time? Oh, no, this is another one I feel about the same with, with but I think I'll go with the not controversial one, and I'll pick Once Upon a Dream from Sleeping Beauty. All right. But both are really good. <laughs> Dory, what's your vote look like? Oh my gosh, this is painful. Um, Sleeping Beauty is my favorite princess, but Nightmare Before Christmas is maybe my favorite movie of all time. Um, and that's period, not just that's Disney period, or animated? Not okay. just Disney. That is oh, period. My oh. dog's name is Zero, after Jack's little dog Zero in the movie. Wow. Um, so fun fact, I don't know if you'll take this as an insult or a compliment, um, but my little chihuahua's name is Dory, so... <laughs> She's not oh in the room, goodness. so she won't be like reacting every time I call you or anything. But <laughs> an insult never. That okay. is the highest compliment. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with what's this. Okay. Um, I don't know if it'll go through, but I want to lend my support to that amazing song. All right, Ryan. How about your vote? Uh, yeah, I gotta go with What's This too from Nightmare Before oh. Christmas. Um, not a Sleepy Beauty fan, not really. Um, okay. I like Nightmare Before Christmas, and that's a really good song. Perfect. And Rachel? I like both a lot, uh, but I'm gonna have to go with Once Upon a Dream. I think it's one of the oh. classic era Disney songs. And this is why I settled on five panel members, because we're stuck in a, in a jam here. Two votes each. So I get to be the deciding vote on this one. Oh, it's a tough one, but ultimately, I think Once Upon a Dream edges out on this one for me personally. So I'm going to go with the classic. And that means Once Upon a Dream moves to the next round. Next up, we have our number 20 seed, Oscar nominee, Bippity Boppity Boo, and our number 45 seed, Gaston. So, Dory, why don't you go ahead and kick us off on this one? Oh, man. Bippity Boppity Boo. Oh, Gotta okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan? You gotta go with Gaston. I mean, it's a Beauty and the Beast. Gaston is a villain. Just he's top tier Disney villains, and that's his most iconic song. Um, Bippity Boppity Boo is 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 a fun one, but I gotta go with Gaston. It's just classic. All right, Rachel. I'm going Bippity Boppity Boo. Oh. <laughs> Got some princess love, some, some yeah. fairy godmother love up in here. It's a classic. Yeah, it's a classic <laughs> Disney song. And Jonathan? They're both good, but I think I'm going to go with the one that is more easily gets stuck in my head, and that would be Gaston. Oh, all right. So we've come down to another 2v2 <laughs> two two tie. And uh, this time I have to delve into my villainous ways and also vote for guest John and <laughs> give it the edge three to two moving on to the next round another fun kind of depressing fact no Disney villain song has ever been nominated for best original song at the Oscars what 
absolutely yeah, insane crazy. to me. That's crazy. <laughs> Not right. Mm. Not right. All right. So next up, we're actually revisiting a film we've already spoke of. We have our number 49 uh, ranked song. This is Halloween from The Nightmare Before Christmas versus our number 16 seed, the Oscar nominated Almost There from The Princess and the Frog. So, Ryan, why don't you kick us off? I'm going with the underrated one, Almost There from Princess and the Frog. That movie oh. does not get enough praise. I love Princess <laughs> and the Frog. Um, everybody's going to go with This is Halloween, but I'm not like a huge Nightmare Before Christmas junkie, oh, but right. I just, I just, I love that song, Almost There. It's, it's a really underrated Disney song, so I'm going with that. All right. Rachel, do you agree? I do not agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've warmed up to Princess and the Frog over the years. I was very disappointed <laughs> with it when it came out. It has its good qualities, and I like the song well enough, but I think that This is Halloween is, is a really strong song uh, from Nightmare Before Christmas, um, and so I, I'm going to go with that. Okay, Jonathan, where's your vote headed? I've only seen Princess and the Frog once, but I do agree that the, that song in particular is underrated. I do really like that song. However, I really like Nightmare Before Christmas, and I really like This is Halloween, so I'm going to go with This is Halloween. Okay. Plus, Nick and Noni Rose, what a voice. I mean, yeah. such an underrated yeah. vocal talent for sure. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And Dory, we, we heard your Nightmare Before Christmas love profession before. Where does your vote lie? I mean... <laughs> I, I gotta go with this Halloween okay. just the best but I do love Almost There it is upbeat, it is fun it is positive, it is happy but I mean this is Halloween it's just everything <laughs> yeah I was super sad when I was putting together the matchups based on ranking because I really do think Almost There is really good, it's a really strong song that gets looked over but this is Halloween. I just, I couldn't vote for almost there over this is Halloween. So this is Halloween moves on <laughs> with a four to one vote. <laughs> All right, moving right along. We have our number 12 seed be our guest versus our number 53 seed Cruella de Vil. All right, Rachel, where does your vote go? I got to go be our guest. All right. It's such a fun song. <laughs> Jonathan. I love Cruella de Vil, but I got to go with Be Our Guest because I, I love that one more. All right, Dory. Definitely Be Our Guest. I can see the entire scene in my head right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. Only traditional, not new live action. Mm -hmm. That was terrible. Yes, this is correct. Yes, all these right. are all traditional yes. animated <laughs> versions, please. Yes. And I Ryan. Really did not like Be Our Guest. Uh, be Our Guest. It's, it's, it's great. And that does mean we have a clean sweep for Be Our Guest. Possibly my favorite uh, song from Beauty and the Beast, in all honesty. So, easy choice for me. Cruella de Vil is a fun little song, but not quite up to par there. Gary Orbach is the best. <laughs> All right, so now we have an interesting seeding coming up. Maybe a shocking couple of seeds here. But we have number 24, My Funny Friend and Me from The Emperor's New Groove versus number 41, Poor Unfortunate Souls from The Little Mermaid. Jonathan, kick us off. I think that My Funny Friend and Me is going to get trounced because I'm going Poor Unfortunate Souls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dory. Poor unfortunate souls. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot vote against Queen Ursula. It just, it's not going to happen today. Yes. All right, Ryan. If you watched my favorite villains video, Ursula was in my top ten. So I'm going poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> That's one of my favorite villain songs. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Rachel. I know your love for the Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah get out of here with this matchup. You love it's her villain as much? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. <laughs> the, 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 the bland credit song that no one remembers from. <laughs> I was beat. just going to say, no one is going to even remember what my <sighs> funny friend and me is. Uh, it's, it's an Oscar nominee, folks. It got the <laughs> Oscar nomination, but... Uh, it was a weak year for, for music. 
<laughs> but yes, I also vote for Poor Unfortunate Souls. I mean, come on. It's such a great villain song. <laughs> and mm -hmm. yeah. finally, we get like a sultry, like a nice, deeper female yeah. song song, which is also great. All right. <laughs> so next up, we revisit the Princess and the Frog for our number 25 seed for Down in New Orleans. That's right. Princess and the Frog was a double nominee for Best Original Song. So neither one of them won. Then we have that going up against our number 40 seed, I Want to Be Like You from The Jungle Book. So, Dory, kick us off for this one. Um, I think I have to go with I Want to Be Like You from The Jungle Book. Um, although I do love that um, down in New Orleans. I love that. That opens up um, Princess and the Frog, I think. It's good. All right, Ryan. Well, you see, I do love Princess and the Frog, but that's not my favorite song in the movie. But I Want to Be Like You is my probably my favorite from the original Jungle Book. Oh, actually, no, actually not. Uh, that's a really good song. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go with that one. All right, Rachel. Yeah, I, I Want to Be Like You for sure. I, I, have, I have a huge bunch of nostalgia for that song uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, but I, you know, I love it. So definitely that one wins the day all right jonathan are you gonna keep on trend yeah i think so like i said <laughs> i've only seen princess and the frog once and i don't remember that song like i remember oh. almost there so i i'm gonna go with I, I, it is probably one of my favorite songs and i actually even like the new the live action version oh, too you so like christopher walken <laughs> up there it's weird so it was such a weird <laughs> song that i really liked it because it was so strange i liked it too i liked that scene too. <laughs> well i'm gonna make another clean sweep this is three in a row i also vote i want to be like you i love that song it's just so groovy so fun i, I love mm -hmm. it <laughs> all right so we're going to jump right into another sidekick song, kicking us off at our number eight seed, the Oscar winning Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid, going up against the number 57 seed, Zero to Hero from Hercules. So Ryan, do you want to go ahead and kick us off with this one? Uh, um, you got to go with my favorite song from Little Mermaid, Under the Sea. Oh, Come it on. is. Yeah, Under All the right. Sea. It's a really good song. Um, is zero that a to hot hero. Take? No, zero to hero is fun, but I I just remember under the steam more. That's when I sing more. So, all right, Rachel. I do like the muses songs in Hercules the best. Uh, it, they're my favorite. Um, but uh, I still like gotta go with <laughs> under the sea. I mean, come on! Every single different fish is a different instrument, and it is this. It's the best. It's really fun. All right, Jonathan. This one is hard because I, I feel like I probably like both of them equally. But I've probably listened to Under the Sea more in my lifetime because it was on one of my Disney CDs that I had when I was a kid. So I think I'll go with Under the Sea. All right, Dory. I'm also going to go with Under the Sea, but I love the music in Hercules, <laughs> yeah. and I love it's Zero really to Hero. It is a, such a great song, yeah. but Under the Sea is just like my childhood and my <laughs> everything. I just can't turn away from it in this moment. So I'm going to be the lone hater, and I'm going to vote for Zero to Hero in this one. <laughs> Under the Sea, I am actually was stunned that out of all of the Little Mermaid songs, this was the one to win the Oscar. It, it actually was shocking to me as I was putting this list together. Under the Sea is fun. It's not my favorite from the Little Mermaid, but nevertheless, still advances to the next round. All right, so next up, we have our first title song with our number five seed, Beauty and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Going up against our number 60 seed, So This Is Love from Cinderella. Rachel, why don't you kick us off? Ooh, this is a hard one actually for me. I like both these songs a lot. I'm surprised it's that low, So This Is Love. Uh, but um, I... <laughs> Mm, uh, I'll go with Beauty and the Beast, but I really, I'm about equal actually on them. I love both those songs. They're very beautiful, but especially 
before Angela Lansbury singing it, then. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're not counting in that Emma Thompson. <sighs> not today. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Tales old as time. <laughs> I'm going to do the same. I really like that song, and I really like Angela Lansbury. Perfect. Dory. I'm also going to go with Beauty and the Beast purely from the Angela Lansbury fan club as well. Um, but I do love so, so This Is Love. That's such a yeah. great song. It's gorgeous. But Angela, come through. <laughs> Brian? Yeah, same. Beauty and the Beast. Uh, so This Is Love's a good song too, but Beauty and the Beast. No, this is another one that broke my heart when it all came down to it because I love So This Is Love. I think it's such an underrated song. Yeah. It's just really gorgeous, but I, I can't vote against Beauty and the Beast on this one. So another clean sweep in the first round. So moving right along, we have our number 28 seed, Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid, going up against the number 37 seed, Son of Man from Tarzan. So Jonathan, you want to kick us off? I like both, but I love the Tarzan soundtrack, so I'm going to go with Son of Man. Oh, all right. Dory? Part of Your World. <laughs> <laughs> all right ryan how about you son of man uh-oh i think we're about to Phil have another Collins. tie on our hands <laughs> all right so. i love tarzan <laughs> i love tarzan <laughs> rachel do we have to ask uh, part of your world I, it, <laughs> phil collins is gonna be jody benson and i'm gonna die <laughs> i know what larry's gonna pick <laughs> I know. I was like, poor Rachel probably is feeling this dread and doom coming over her as she heard Ryan say that word. But yep. for this vote, I'm actually going to vote for part of your world. Ah! <laughs> a shocker. A shocker. Um, I think the Tarzan soundtrack is solid. It's just a small bit monotonous to me. Um, so it, it always falls a little bit by the wayside. And part of your world. I do think it's a pretty stellar song. Um, so Little Mermaid actually got my vote there, Rachel. So, I'm so proud of you right I now. I just wanted to see you squirm a little bit. That, that was my favorite part, <laughs> seeing you squirming around. So next up, we have two of the more fun songs coming from sidekicks in their films. We have number 22 seed, Akuna Matata, going up Gosh. against the number 43 seed, Prince Ali from Aladdin. So, Dory, kick us off. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. my God. Wow. This Dory, hurts. I hate you so much. <laughs> this this is hurts. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to go Akuna Matata. Okay. Lion King love there from you, huh, Dory? Yes, Lion King forever, but I mean, <laughs> this this hurt my heart a yeah. little bit. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Uh, Larry, I hate that you're making me bet against Robin Williams. <laughs> oh. Rest in peace. I miss you, but I'm going Hakuna Matata. I'm never betting against Lion King. Never. <laughs> All right, Rachel. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I love both songs, but I got to go Prince Ali. Okay. Jonathan, where will your vote go? <laughs> Well, I actually kind of think that out of the whole Lion King soundtrack, Hakuna Matata is like the most overrated one. So I'm oh. going Prince Ali. <laughs> oh, all right. So we have another guy here. <laughs> oh, wow. hi. All right. Oh, gosh, I'll make it come down to me. Break oh. my heart. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I have to break ryan's heart a second round in a row and i have to also vote for Prince my heart's Ali. been broken three times <laughs> oh three times i know i keep i'm sorry ryan i keep i keep just going the opposite way but prince ali i mean what a bop I mean, but it's prince ali so i'm yeah. not that mad <laughs> yes yeah. now i have to admit this next one i think will be a little bit easier uh, for the vote. So we're moving right along with the number nine seed. We are heading back to the Lion King with the Circle of Life. 
going up against our number 56 seed, the unbirthday song from Alice in Wonderland. So, Ryan, you're first up this time. Do I even need to say it? <laughs> The circle of life. Next. <laughs> so we just know if it's Little Mermaid, mark one down for Rachel's vote. If it's The Lion King, mark one down for Ryan's vote. But Rachel, where do you lie in this vote? Yeah, it's circle of life. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that well, got higher this- than, so this is love, the unbirthday song. <laughs> See, I told y'all, y'all would be mad this evening. <laughs> what? <laughs> I object. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Jonathan. Are you going to throw in a controversial opinion? Maybe I will because I do like Circle of Life, and it technically is the better song, but I really like the Unbirthday song because it's an earworm and it gets stuck in my head at random times. But even if I haven't listened to it, sometimes I'll just think about it. And I do really like that song. And since I know that it's not going to win, I'll just give it some love <laughs> and give it a vote. <laughs> You see, Rachel, you got more votes than this is love. <laughs> Madness. Uh, and Dory. Although I love hearing the unbirthday song as I walk through Disneyland, Circle of Life, all day, every day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this one is the Circle of Life for me. Pretty easily, it's another the unbirthday song. Is fun. It's a fun little moment in Alice in Wonderland, but. Uh, it, it can't. It can't be one of one of the iconic moments of Disney uh, animation. <laughs> I protest right. against this bracket. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we have maybe a difficult choice, maybe not. I'm not sure. Some find one of these to be quite underrated, but we're kicking off with number thirteen. Go the distance from Hercules up against number 52. Everybody wants to be a cat from the Aristocats. So, Rachel, kick us off. Like I said, I like the Muses songs a lot better than the other songs from Hercules. Uh, so, actually, I'm going to go with Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. I think it's a really, I don't think the movie is as good as Hercules, but I think as far as a song, I think it's a really fun, uh, jazzy song from the Sherman Brothers so I'd get I think it's a better song all right Jonathan do you agree it's fine but I think I'll go with go the distance it is it is probably it might be one of my least favorites from Hercules but I do like it and the the Aristocats is kind of one of those more forgettable ones for me I do like the song I guess but even after the Lizzo meme the little cat playing Truth Hurts. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. That was fun. that was great. I, I just think that Go the Distance is one of the more bland ballads from the 90s, if you ask me. And so the, the video cool. with Lizzo, it's not technically canon to the movie, so. All right, Miss Dory, how are you feeling on this one? Um, I'm going to show a little Hercules love and go with Go the distance, and I also can picture Michael Bolton singing it. Remember how he had the <laughs> he had the pop version of the song? Oh, all those pop versions <laughs> getting on the radio in the nineties. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, Ryan, how do you feel on this one? I don't like Aristocats. I love Go the Distance. <laughs> I love Hercules. So, Go the Distance. I don't like the movie. I just like the <laughs> song. Let's be clear about that. <laughs> yeah, I also really don't like the Aristocats as a movie. I just, ugh, it's not for me. But I think Everybody Wants to Be Cat is a really fun jam. Um, I would still edge out and, and go go the distance. But this one actually was a pretty close toss up in my head. I think they're about equal. But go the distance moves on to round two. So moving right along, we have number 17 friend like me from aladdin going up against number 48 reflection from mulan jonathan you're up first oh dear this this one is a hard (laughs) one yeah Mm -hmm. yeah fun fact no songs from mulan were nominated for the oscar isn't that a weird thing disgrace that's a disgrace that's a really big disgrace yeah did we break your brain jonathan (laughs) Kind of. They're, they're like My le- they're like level for me. They're they're like I like them both a lot for 
completely different reasons. These are completely different kinds of songs. Definite one of the tough matchups of round one, I'd say. I guess I'll just go with the one that I've probably listened to the most and seen the movie the most of, which is Friend Like Me from Aladdin. All right, Dory, how are you going to vote here? I have to go with Friend Like Me also. It's just such an amazing performance of a song. It's just incredible. All right, Ryan? I do love Reflection from Mulan. Mulan, I think it's a great movie. That's a really great song. But I know I bet it against Robin Williams against <laughs> my favorite Disney movie. But I'm not going to bet against Robin Williams for Friend Like Me. I mean, Robin Williams, just the improv he did as the genie during that song, that's iconic. So, Friend Like Me. Okay, Rachel, are you going to keep the consensus rolling? Friend Like Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's I actually, an easy one for you. <laughs> yeah, I actually prefer it to A Whole New World. This one, yeah. I my favorite Aladdin one. song. Yeah, Friend Like Me is just... For one, that it has that set piece. Like, what a set piece in the film itself, which I think often really enhances some of the songs in Disney films, like Be Our Guest and the like, if they just have these big, really fun, grand pieces. But Reflection is just such an emotive song. However, Christina fans, y'all tried me earlier with that new Mulan song, so we're not going to vote for Reflection here either. And apparently, others agree with me. And Reflection, mind you, is way way better than that new song Christina recorded. I'm yeah, just saying. No question. <laughs> All right, which is not in the bracket. <laughs> All right, moving right along. We have a Disney villain battle on our hands. So t- number 29, Be Prepared from The Lion King, going up against number 36, Hellfire from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. All right, another song I think might surprise people at how underrated it's generally viewed. Dory, how are you going to vote? Be prepared. Oh, that was an easy one for you, huh? (laughs) I freaking love that song so much. It is so good. It is such a great villain song. Oh my goodness, no contest for me. Oh, no contest. All right, Ryan. Are you going to so vote true? Hellfire's great. I lo- Frollo's a great villain. But, Larry, you said no villain Disney song has ever won an Oscar? No. Or been nominated? Not even nominated. That's just crazy. Because Be Prepared is my favorite song from Lion King. Spoilers. Oh. And, yeah, this easily wins. Scar's my favorite Disney villain. So, boom. Okay. Rachel, do you agree? Yeah, easy call for me. Be prepared. I, oh. I'm not a big <laughs> fan of Frollo or of uh, of uh, Notre Dame. So you don't love the undertones of Hellfire, the the, <laughs> the subcontext there. No, the darkness never, of it all. I'll never forget watching it with my friend's nephews, and, and we were just like, "What is happening here? This is a Disney movie." Uh, not my favorite. No. All right, Jonathan, are you going along with the consensus here? Yeah, be, uh, Hunchback is one of a very, very small handful of Disney movies I have not seen yet. I'm waiting to do it, watch it when I do it for my oh. podcast. Jonathan! But I have listened to the music, and still Be Prepared is still better. I love Be Prepared. It's, it, it's one of my favorite songs from Lion King. Yeah. Yeah, I do enjoy the the darkness of hellfire and i think it's probably my favorite song from the hunchback of notre dame but it just that whole movie is not really for me so i also vote be prepared i love be prepared so, i still have not go. forgiven what that awful remake did to that song oh, oh my gosh <laughs> Uh, I think would we all be voting for Hellfire if this was the Chiwetel Ejiofor version? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, so bad. <laughs> I don't even hate like, the live action one. Like everybody hates the live action remake. I don't hate it. I think it's <laughs> not that great. I don't hate it, but Who the Be that? Prepared is the like the worst part in terms of and he can like, sing. trying to translate it he over. He was just yelling. It's, it's terrible. She would tell can sing. I don't know what they did. It, it has my nice. full wrath. I'm not nice like Jonathan. <laughs> it is awful. <laughs> we get, we're back up to our top four seeds. 
kicking us off at our number four spot, we have When You Wish Upon a Star from Pinocchio. Going up against our number 61 seed out there, also from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So uh, I think we're on Dory. Do you want to kick us off? Um, when You Wish Upon a Star. Um, but I do like Out There from Hunchback. That is not my favorite movie by any stretch, but I do like that ballad. But I mean, come on. When You Wish Upon a Star has got to be it. All right, Ryan. Yeah, When You Wish Upon a Star from Pinocchio. That's one of my favorite childhood uh, movies and songs. Out There is good, but not When You Wish Upon a Star for me. Rachel. Yeah. When You Wish Upon a Star is basically the theme song of Disney. So if we're having a Disney song tournament, it would be ludicrous if it gets voted out in the first round. The first round. Get it out of here. <laughs> it's their like whole motto. Uh, so yes, I go with When You Wish Upon a Star. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. If we were doing this like 10 years ago, I probably would vote against Wish Upon a Star out of spite because I always, when I was younger, I thought that that song was so overrated because it would show up on like, d does anybody remember the Disney Mania CD series that Disney yep. did? Oh, wow. I, it was on like every single one. They had a different person covering it and I always wanted some more rarer Disney songs to be on there and I was like they gave this spot to Wish Upon a Star again so I, I had I was mad at when you Wish Upon a Star. I it's think their it's, theme song I mean I, I know I but listened I to it like, on the way to the park yeah <laughs> it was, there was too yeah. many versions I was so upset every time they'd release a new CD yeah. and it would be another version so but it is a good song so I'm gonna go with that one <laughs> Yeah, this one's a clean sweep. Out there is good, but it's no When You Wish Upon a Star for me. So the Disney anthem theme song survives at least one more round. We'll see if it can get much further. All right, moving right along. We have another 90s Renaissance power ballad with Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas going up against number 62, When Will My Life Begin from Tangled. Ryan, you're up first. This is hard for me because I love Tangled and I don't like Pocahontas, but I do love the one song in that movie, Colors of the Wind. But this is tough. Which do I go with? Tangled, that opening song in the movie, I, it's not my favorite. So I'm actually going to go with Colors of the Wind. Okay, Rachel. You say the Colors of the Wind is number three? It is. It's the number Larry. three. Listen, it was an Oscar winner, a Grammy winner, and it got to number four on the Billboard chart. Thanks. It's also your favorite. So <laughs> I'm some here. No, Rachel. Um, it had all the, all the stats in its favor. Um, no, I go with Colors of the Wind. I think it is a, a beautiful song. I think that Judy uh, Kuhn sings the heck out of it. Uh, she's one of the best, I think, pure singers of any of the princesses even if I think that Pocahontas is preachy and annoying and I don't like her. <laughs> I'm actually a little shocked. I, I thought you were going to vote for When Will My Life again. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's perfectly harmless and cute, but it's not, a, like, it's not as good. Okay, Jonathan. Here you go. This one is hard because I love Tangled and I don't really like Pocahontas. I've only seen it once, but I don't remember liking it. However, the music... I had on CDs, and I really liked the music of Pocahontas. That's amazing. In particular, Colors of the Wind. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to go with Colors of the Wind, even though, as a movie, I love Tangled way more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same. Okay, Dory, do you, do you echo similar sentiments, or are you going to dissent? I actually feel the exact same way Ryan and Jonathan do about this matchup and I will go with Colors of the Wind. Um, even though I don't like Pocahontas, I have a list of problems with it a mile long, but Colors of the Wind is an excellent song. Yes, a beautiful and very timely song for the moments we're in right now. So thank you all for making the correct decision. <laughs> uh, moving right along. Uh, quite the interesting matchup here. We're going with number 30, 
you want to build a snowman which was one of the many frozen songs that charted on the billboard hot 100 going up against number 35 a dream is a wish your heart makes from cinderella so rachel you're kicking us off uh i go with the dream is a wish okay. I lo- I lo- i'm not a frozen eater. i love frozen but i i love that song from uh, cinderella okay jonathan yeah, I'm gonna go with with that as well. I I know I have no hate towards Frozen, but I feel like that's the most overrated song from Frozen. <laughs> like, there, and there are more than one overrated song at some <laughs> sometimes. But like, I don't hate that soundtrack. But that one, is, to me, is the most overrated. So I'm I'm going with Cinderella. Hey, Dory. Yes. Jonathan is speaking my language. <laughs> Definitely a dream is a wish your heart makes, for sure. No Frozen Hate, I do like it. I just think that some of the songs are overrated, and that song in particular is overrated. Sorry. Okay, Ryan? Yeah, I'm the same. I'm a Frozen overrated boat train person. I can't, I, every time I hear the, you want to build a snowman on memes or wherever, I just want to no, I don't want to build a snowman. So I'm going to dream as a wish your heart makes from Cinderella. Yay, we've already righted one of the biggest wrongs that you fans out there voted for because if you want to build a snowman, took out a dream as a wish your heart makes. And it really? broke my heart a little bit in the fan vote. But I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad we have, we've given the classic Cinderella her due. And I think this is the first Cinderella win of this tournament. So Didn't... I'm glad a Cinderella song moved on. Moving right along, we have number 18, The Bare Necessities from The Jungle Book. Going up against number 47, I Am Moana from Moana. So, Jonathan, you are first up to vote here. Oh, this is another hard one. Yeah. Moana has such a great soundtrack. The the Jungle Book is a classic. I think if I were going to put on a set on one of those two songs right now, I think I'd probably choose to put on Moana right now. So I think I'll go with Moana. Okay, Dory. Oh no. Um, <laughs> oh, no this is getting hard. Geez. I love Moana, but I mean, I have to. I have to pick Bare Necessities. All right. It's in my heart. <laughs> All right, Ryan, does Bare Necessity speak to you? This is hard because my favorite song from Moana is not even in here. You're welcome. I know. From Maui. Um, So I love all Moana songs, but the Bare Necessities is like so cool. It's so fun. (laughs) It's a classic, and it's easily my favorite song from the Jungle Book. You're going Bare Necessities? Yeah, Bare Necessities. Perfect. And Rachel? You gotta go Bare Necessities. It's a classic Disney song, Sherman Brothers. I I think that I Am Moana is a really well done I Want song, but I wouldn't put it as one of my favorite I Want songs. Uh, and so I I don't know, just it they're they're apples and oranges, but I, I would go with Bare Necessities. On this one, I was also very torn. I love the bare necessities. I think I personally would have voted I Am Moana. It just had a really deep impact with the grandmother coming back, all of that. It just it moved me in a, in a really deep way. But even Water saying works. that, yeah, the bare necessities gets the vote and moves to the next round. So moving right along, we have number 14, Into the Unknown from Frozen 2, going up against number 51, Why Should I Worry from Oliver and Company. Jory, do you want to kick us off? Oh, no. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Oh, no. It's a tough one. I agree. I am right there with you, Dory. I found it very difficult. Oh no, I can't believe this. Um, uh, I actually really like the songs from Frozen 2 a lot. I like them better than the songs in Frozen. Mm. But I love Oliver and Company so much. Oh. Like, I, that was the first movie I remember seeing when I was like in the theaters. It's my first memory of going to see a movie. Um, but Why Should I Worry isn't really my favorite. 
You don't have that Billy Joel love. <sighs> I mean, I love Billy Joel, but that's not the best. That's just <laughs> not the best. Um, I guess into the unknown, I'll go. Right, you're uh, heading into the unknown, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Ryan, how about you? All of her company's fun. I like Billy Joel too, but <laughs> um, Into the Unknown, I actually do really like that song. Um, I like it more than actually Let It Go. Oh. I'm going to go with that one. So I'll go with the Frozen 2 song. Okay, Rachel? <clears throat> yeah, Into the Unknown for me, even though I, I do like Why Should I Worry? Why I should I worry? All yeah, right. It's, it's got a really good hook. <laughs> <laughs> got it then? <laughs> Yeah, I really like the Frozen 2 soundtrack. I thought it was way better than the first Frozen, so I'm going to go with Into the Unknown. Yeah, I was with Dory. I I did not want to see Why Should I Worry come up against a, a song like Into the Unknown in the first round. I was like, oh, no, because I, I really think that's another one where I think the movie's okay. I mean, Oliver Twist as dogs and a little kid. But um, the song is just so good. I love it. But Into the Unknown is moving on. All right, so next up, number 10, how far I'll go from Moana, going up against number 55, for the first time in forever, from Frozen. So we have a pretty contemporary battle going on in this one. Ryan, you're up. So as I just said, Frozen is overrated in my opinion, and Moana, I love all the songs, so <laughs> how far I'll go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rachel. Yeah, I mean, I think you have an I Want song that's pretty memorable here versus a, like, basically a song that's just establishing what's happening. Uh, so I would definitely go with How Far I'll Go. Okay, and Jonathan, do you agree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Jory. How Far I'll Go, <clears throat> definitely How Far I'll Go. All right. I, I didn't know if this one would be a little bit closer. Started out kind of close in the vote from the fans, but how far I'll go, definitely my pick. Oh, I love it so much. So on to the next round for Moana. So next up, we have number 23, Love is a Song from Bambi. Going up against You Can Fly from Peter Pan. Rachel, where do you vote? I'm going to go with the Bambi song. All right. I should have known. It has love in the title. Of course, we're just not going <laughs> to vote against it. All right, Jonathan. Bambi was one of my favorite movies as a kid, so I'm going to go with Love is a Song. Oh, all right. Nori, are you keeping that momentum? I am. I love Love is a Song. And it is a great way to start that movie. It's so <laughs> sweet. It's so cute. It's just so cute. <laughs> We didn't say that's the best song from Peter Pan. Is that the only Peter Pan song? That is the only Peter Pan song. That's the only one. Is that, is that the only Bambi song? That's I w- also the only Bambi song. I would no. do Second Star, second star from... I'd go no. Second Star from the right or Captain Hook if it was me. <laughs> Peter Pan. All right. How about yeah. you, Ryan? Yeah, I'm jumping on the train. I love Bambi, so... Love is a song. Okay, so Love is a Song gets a clean sweep. It decidedly lost the fan vote, though. So that's another another classic that we're showing some love to. Well, Peter Pan also has its place as a classic. So, you know, moving right along, we have number 27, Oscar-nominated Saludos Amigos from Saludos Amigos. Going up against number 38, I won't say I'm in love from Hercules. Jonathan, you're up first. I think I remember when this one came up on your Twitter poll and I didn't know how to choose because I like both for different reasons. I can't remember what I voted for, but I think I'm going to go with I won't say I'm in love just because I love the Hercules soundtrack. Okay, Dory. I am also going to go with I Won't Say I'm In Love. I, I really like that scene when she's like singing to all the statues and stuff. It's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How about you, Ryan? Yeah, I'm same. I love, as I said, love Hercules, the songs in it, and I Won't Say I'm In Love Again. All right. <laughs> all right, Rachel? Yeah, same with me. I love Susan Egan's vocals on that song. It's so good. She's amazing. Oh, and her recreation, if you all haven't oh. watched it, in quarantine, Susan Egan did like a recreation around her house and it's so good. So definitely yeah. check that out. I'm also voting for I Won't Say I'm In Love. So clean sweep yeah. for the Hercules love song. 
Good luck, live action version. All right, now we're yeah. headed on to one of our most recent epic classics versus quite possibly the oldest classic. We have number six, Let It Go from Frozen, up against number 59, I'm Wishing, one song from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So, Jonathan, you are up first. When Frozen came out, this would have been easy. I would have voted for Let It Go because I loved Let It Go when it first came out. And then it kind of wore on me. Oh. And I don't hate it. Say, the classics yeah. need more love, so I'm going to go with Snow White. Oh, all right. Dory, do you feel the same? I do feel the same. Oh. Yeah. All right. So that's and I do feel oh. the same as well. <laughs> oh, all right, Ryan. I do just like kept that Snow train rolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Rachel just had an exasperated <laughs> reaction. Rachel, your thoughts? I just want to see Let It Go. Oh my gosh, Let It Go is one of the greats. I don't care if you all heard it too much. It's a great song. And it I is a good plays song. Plays it, it is, in those vocals. Song, but... And I, the high-pitched singing in Snow White, I can't. All right, so Rachel votes Let It Go. I also would have voted for Let It Go. I agree. The, uh, I, love, I love Snow White as a film. It's beautiful. It always has my respect for being the first full-length animated film. But, oh, my gosh, in present day, Snow White's singing voice is just too much for me. Singing into that well, I'm like, oh, oh, my ears. Oh, it's too much. Um, Dance for you to change, Jonathan. <laughs> Come on. We're on the fence. <laughs> Or let it go. <laughs> but look at that one. Oh. I think this is one of our first top 10 seeds to fall. Let it go. Uh, get the boot. Oh, our, our panel is happy to see it too. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming in with another top 10 seed. You'll be in my heart from Tarzan. Uh, going up against the number 58 seed, Savages from Pocahontas. So, Dory, you're up. You'll be in my heart. All right. <laughs> and Ryan? Yeah, you'll be in my heart. Don't like Radcliffe. And <laughs> Rachel? Oh, I love, actually, I think Savages is a really good song. Uh, but Especially that reprise with Pocahontas singing over the top of them. Oh, so good. You're not going to win me over to that movie, <laughs> but I do think that's a good song. Um, <laughs> no, I, I'll go with You'll Be My Heart. I really do. I think it's such a beautiful little lullaby. You can sing to It's one of the only Disney songs that you can like sing to a baby. Come Aww. stop your crying. It'll be all right. Well, so you, cute. You better vote for the other one you can sing to a baby. That's coming up soon. So, okay. Uh, Jonathan, <laughs> I, I probably will. <laughs> your vote? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going with Tarzan, too. I love the Tarzan soundtrack. I I'm, I'm having a hard time imagining a matchup where I will pick something over Tarzan. Oh, wow. I think this might be the only Tarzan left. I think there were only two. So you know, you'll be championing, uh, you'll be in my heart all the way through. We'll see what it comes up against. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's not going to make a hard decision in the future. Yeah, this one was tough for me just because I said, especially that reprise with uh, Pocahontas like running and you have the her vocal overlaying. I think it's really well done. But, but you'll be... <laughs> You'll be in my heart, I think, it is the winner here. It's, it's a really strong song. Moving right along, coming in at number 26, we have the Oscar-nominated Love from Robin Hood. Going up against number 39, Show Yourself from Frozen 2. And Ryan, you're up first this time around. Like I said, I really like the Frozen 2 songs. I, just like Jonathan said, I like them more than the first one. Uh, Robin Hood. I'm not a Robin Hood guy. Like, I didn't watch it a lot. So I got to go with Show Yourself here. I would have, I really like that song. So I, I'm going to go with that one. Okay, Rachel. Show Yourself is my pick. Oh, you're going against the classics now, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I love Robin Hood, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a classic. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, I certainly would not, actually. So there you go. Jonathan? <laughs> I think Show Yourself might have been my favorite, if I remember correctly, from Frozen 2. So I'm going to go with Show Yourself. Okay, and Dory. Yes, Show Yourself. 
Yes. I do I remember. I, I think so many of us were like, oh, this is the best song on the whole soundtrack. Um, and a lot of people were actually upset that it wasn't the one they kind of released. But I was like, because it's a major spoiler, people. They can't really show yourself before the movie. Into the Unknown is a want song. So you can put that out, but you can't show yourself. That's a huge spoiler song. Stop it. But That's true. I also agree. Show Yourself is a great song. And I think my favorite from the soundtrack, too. We have an interesting matchup here. At number 21, we have Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Going up against number 44, Mother Knows Best from mm. Tangled. Mm. And Rachel, you're up first. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go with Mother Knows Best. It's such a good villain song. It is just dripping with disdain. I, I really enjoy it. Rachel, we're not talking about the Emma Watson version, okay? Yeah. No, don't, don't even bring that. <laughs> then, then I definitely picked Mother Knows Best. Jonathan, we heard how much you love uh, Tangled. Do you agree with Rachel? I don't know. This is a hard one. It is a hard one. I love the song Belle. I think I'll go with Belle, even though I really do like Mother Knows Best. All right. Dory, it's a tough matchup. Which one are you thinking? Mother knows best for oh, sure. See, yeah. I think Rachel and Jory just they have that dark streak in them. They're they're a little bit scared <laughs> to let it out, but we're seeing it. We see. Yes, it. that's scary. <laughs> I haven't had a villain song in so long. It makes me love it even more. I guess unless you count um Mato in Moana's villain oh. song. I miss I miss Disney villains. Okay, Ryan, are you going to send it to a I tie? Also- I also have like a darkness for I love <laughs> for villains and I love Mother Knows Best. Mother Gothel is a great oh villain. That's a really great song and mothers do know best. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, personally, I think this might be a little bit blasphemous. Obviously, I'd vote for Belle. Uh, but <laughs> moving on to the next round is Mother Knows Best from Tangled. Moving right along, we actually have another Tangled song, the Oscar nominee from Tangled, I See the Light as our number 11 seed, going up against our number 54 seed, He's a Tramp from Lady and the Tramp. Jonathan, you're up first. Glad this one is a lot easier. I'm going with Tangled. I don't have any problem with Lady and the Tramp. I like that song, but uh, at last, I see the light is way better. (laughs) All right, Dory. I agree. I agree. I love that scene from Tangled. It's beautiful with all the lanterns. Oh, come on. It's so good. It's beautiful. (laughs) Ryan? This is easy. Uh, (laughs) I see the light. Mandy Moore, Zachary Levi. It's a match made in heaven. So good. (laughs) Rachel? Actually, I don't know. I'd be a little bit more torn than you guys, I guess. But I, I do love, I love Tangles from my favorite Disney film. So, uh, and I, I love Lady Tramp as well. But, yeah. but, uh, and I love that jazzy feel. He's a tramp. <laughs> it's fun. I uh, so, but I think I'd, I'd also go with the Tangle song. Yeah, this one is is the Tangled song for me. That scene is just so gorgeous that it kind of brings you into the romance of it all. Moving along to our next matchup, number 15, Kiss the Girl from The Little Mermaid, up against number 50, Just Around the River Bend from Pocahontas. So, Dory, you're kicking us off. Um, <laughs> I think I'll go with Kiss the Girl. I love The Little Mermaid, so it's, it's really hard for me to go against The Little Mermaid, <laughs> like really hard. So I'm going to have to go with Kiss the Girl. All right, Ryan. Yeah, I'm also going to go with Kiss the Girl. You got Sebastian with the vocals and just the little animals with the instruments. It's it's a really good scene. So, yeah, Kiss the Girl. All right, Rachel. Both Alan Menken songs are both good songs. I, I, uh, I'll go with Kiss the Girl. Right, and Jonathan. You see her. This is another one that's a hard choice because, like, like I said, I, I don't love – Pocahontas as a movie, but the the music is good, and that's one of the the best songs on there. I really like Just Around the River Bend. Kiss the Girl is probably more iconic, so I gotta go with Kiss the Girl. <sighs> I mean, I knew it was coming. I obviously vote for Just Around the River Bend because it's amazing. <laughs> 
Kiss the Girl is the Oscar nominee that gets to move on to round number two. All right, we're dwindling down onto our next matchup. We have number 19, Baby Mine from Dumbo, going up against number 46, God Help the Outcasts from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. All right, we're kicking off with you this go round, Ryan. I would be so heartless if I didn't go with Baby Mine. So, yeah, <laughs> Baby Mine. I'm glad there's a heart in there then, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rachel. <laughs> Do you baby still mine. love songs you can sing to your baby? Yes, I do. <laughs> baby mine. <laughs> Good. Oh Although, God, God Help the Outcast is a very beautiful song. Your it's, favorite from Hunchback? Maybe. Yeah, probably. Okay, Jonathan. Because I love my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Baby Mine as well. Okay. It's a and Disney classic. Dory. Maybe mine, little Dumbo and his mother's truck. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this is just another one that I think the scene just elevates the song, even uh, because it's just such a iconic and heartbreaking scene. <laughs> the most emotional Tim scene Burton, of the whole movie. Do? What did you uh, do, Tim Burton? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, my God. Oh, these live action, I can't. Two round one matchups left. So here we go. Number 31. I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan, going up against number 34, Someday My Prince Will Come from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Rachel. I'm going to go with the Mulan song. They're both pretty, pretty good songs, I would say, but I don't like the high-pitched singing. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. I'll Make a Man Out of You. That's like a childhood favorite. That was a staple in our house. Everybody loved that song. Okay, Dory. Definitely, I'll make a man out of you. When I saw that movie, I was obsessed with that song. And that scene, it is just, it's iconic. I love it. Ryan? Uh, I'll make a man out of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> so good. I just sing it all the time. Yeah. Again, I'm with Rachel on this one. Snow White's singing voice is just mu too much for me overall. It's a pretty song, not for me. And I'll make a man out of you. It's funny enough, I think in typical 90s fashion with Mulan, they really pushed for Reflection to be the big iconic song. But I do think I'll make a man out of you ended up being the like definitive Mulan song mm -hmm. once all the dust settled. So an interesting case there. All right, now we're up to our final matchup of round one, our second seed. Can you feel the love tonight from The Lion King going up against number 63, On My Way from Brother Bear? So Jonathan, you're first. I actually really like <laughs> On My Way from Brother Bear. <laughs> That's, I've, I'm one of those people who thinks that Brother Bear is underrated. It's not perfect. It's probably not even an amazing movie, but I do like it. Uh, but Can You Feel the Love Tonight is more iconic and more memorable, so I gotta go with that one. Okay, Dory. Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Well, there seemed to be no hesitation on that one. <laughs> None, baby. I don't think there'll be any hesitation as we head over to Ryan either. I. Uh... Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> As I said, I've never been against Lion King. <laughs> and Rachel? Yeah, definitely can you feel the love tonight? Although I hate the introduction in the animated film. I can see what's happening. They don't have a clue. I hate that. But I, but I, but yeah, I mean, the Brother Bear song, I didn't even remember that song. I part can't of, be nice like Jonathan. I think one. that movie sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Part oh, of that one is from, like I was talking about the Disney Mania CDs. Part of that is because there was a cover of that on one of the Disney Mania songs. And I loved the cover. So that's made it so much more memorable to me. It's probably way better than the, what's in this. In it the probably movie. was. It, it was. probably was. <laughs> yeah, a fun fact is Can You Feel the Love Tonight, I believe, is the only song to win a Grammy outside of a song made for a motion picture. It won Elton John the Best Male Vocal Performance Grammy as well as the Best Song for a Motion Picture. Though, Circle of Life was the song that was nominated for Song of the Year. So the Lion King soundtrack was all over the Grammys, getting nominations that many of the other songs did not receive. 
All right, so we're moving on to round number two, kicking us off with our number one seed, A Whole New World, going up against our number 33 seed, Once Upon a Dream. Dory, you're up first. Oh, boy. I mean, I have to go with A Whole New World. I love Sleeping Beauty, though. Okay, Ryan? Yeah, like I said in the first round, not a Sleeping Beauty fan. I'm definitely an Aladdin fan and A Whole New World. Rachel? Mm. Once Upon a Dream for me. Okay, sounded like an easy one on Rachel's part. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I love that song. Jonathan? This is a hard one because I, they're both pretty equal. I think I'm going to go with Once Upon a Dream, though. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Our number one seed wow. into wow. an early round tussle here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and vote for a whole new world on this one. I love it. I know a lot of people find it overrated or saccharine and sappy. And my, my old demented heart still finds a way to love it. So here we are. Um, and that moves a whole new world into round number three. All right. So now we have two low seeds, two seeds in the 40s with number 45, Gaston, going up against number 49, This Is Halloween. So, Ryan, you are up first. So, I know I, I bet it against This Is Halloween in the first round. Um, so, I, I do like that song. So, I'll go with it this time. Um, love Gaston, but This Is Halloween. Okay. Rachel? This is Halloween for me. All right. <clears throat> Jonathan? One is hard. I think I'm going to go with This is Halloween, though. I think I like that one a little better. Okay. Nightmare fanatic Dory. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> you already know This is Halloween. And I love Beauty and the Beast, but I have to go with This is Halloween as well. It's just such a good song. All right. But Beauty and the Beast is All not right. down and out yet. We're moving right along to our next matchup. Number 12, Be Our Guest. Going up against number 41, Poor Unfortunate Souls. Rachel, you are up first. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is really hard. These are getting hard. Oh. Yeah, they're, yeah, just beginning. Wow. This is probably the two most icon one of the two most iconic songs that Howard Ashman ever wrote. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with Poor Unfortunate Souls. It's very difficult, though. Okay. I don't know. All right, Jonathan? Both really hard, but also really easy. They're both really good songs, but I love Poor Unfortunate Souls, so I've got to go with Poor Unfortunate Souls. All right, <laughs> Dory. I also have to go with Poor Unfortunate Souls. I freaking love Ursula, and, <laughs> and we got to push her through. We got to do it. All right, Ryan. Dark Side Rules. <laughs> Four unfortunate souls. I think all of us. That's interesting. Yeah, this this is a really tough one. These are probably my I favorite love you, songs. Be our guest. Yeah. yeah, these are like my favorite songs yeah. from both of these yeah. films. But I don't know. Is it homophobic to vote against Four Unfortunate Souls in Pride Month? <laughs> it kind of feels that way <laughs> to me in my soul. So I I think the time we're in. I love you, be our guest, but I also got to go with Four Unfortunate Souls here. So. Ursula, you have found your way into round number three. Now, moving along, we have another Little Mermaid song, number eight, Under the Sea, going up against number 40, I Want to Be Like You. So, Jonathan, you are up first. I'm going to go with Under the Sea. Okay. Dory? I'm going to go with I Want to Be Like You. Oh, she broke. She broke her Little Mermaid streak there, I see. <laughs> and, I mean, I never thought it would happen, but this oh. bracket is making me um, act differently. <laughs> right, Ryan? I love Christopher Walken's version in the new one, but <laughs> Under the Sea. I'll go Under the Sea. All right, mm -hmm. Rachel. Under the Sea for me. <laughs> Of course, our resident little mermaid chill. No. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> put a put with Dory on this one and went with I Want to Be Like yes. You. Yes. But mm -hmm. Under the Sea lives to see another day. Into round <laughs> number three. I mean, up next, number five, Beauty and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast versus number 28, Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. So we are kicking off this matchup with Ryan. 
Uh, I'll go Beauty and the Beast. All right, Rachel. This is a tough one, actually. I love both these songs, but got to go with Part of Your World. Okay, Jonathan. I got to go with Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Dory, is that Angela Lansbury fan club holding up? Actually, I'm going back to the Little Mermaid <laughs> frame and okay. voting for Part of Your World. Sorry, Angela, I love you. Oh, Angela. It's okay. Jody Benson's <laughs> vocals in that song are so good. Oh, uh, Ty. It's okay. I'm going to save you, Angela. I obviously have to vote for Beauty and the Beast on this one. Come on now. So, the titular song or the title song from Beauty and the Beast moves along. Moving along in our bracket, we have number 43, Prince Ali, going up against number nine, The Circle of Life. And Rachel, mm. you are up first. Um, I'm going to go with Prince Ali. Oh, all right. And Jonathan? I'm also going to go with Prince Ali. Ooh, all right. Dory. Wow. You guys are killing me. <laughs> yeah, you're like putting some <laughs> nice in my heart. <laughs> you're killing me. You guys are killing me. I'm going to go with Circle of Life. Okay, Ryan. I'm putting a lot of knives because I keep betting against Robin Williams, but <laughs> Circle of Life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so another tie that comes Sorry. down to me. One of these two is actually in our final four on the fan vote currently as we speak. Um, and it's actually the one I have to vote for. I have to go Circle of Life. It's just that little bit extra iconic and just epic. All right, next up, Ooh. number 13, Go the Distance. Up against number 17, Friend Like Me. And to Jonathan, you're kicking us off. Friend like me. All right. <laughs> Dory? Definitely friend like me. <laughs> Ryan? Friend is... <laughs> like me. It's like, are you going to make it up to Robin Williams again? <laughs> Rachel? Uh, yeah, that one's easy. Friend like me. Yeah. yeah. Easy for me as well. Friend like me. Easily. <laughs> to the next round. Sorry, go the distance. Hercules, you can go the distance and head on out of the tournament. Thank you. <laughs> Next up Bye. in our brackets, we have a tough one. <laughs> our number four seed, When You Wish Upon a Star, going up against our number 29 seed, Be Prepared. So, oh, Dory, you're first. What? I'm first? You're uh, first. <laughs> heart or evil? <laughs> I was like, so I think we have two votes already cast here. Uh, <laughs> we know where Re Ryan and Rachel are going. <laughs> but Dory, how are you going to vote? <laughs> oh, man. Um... I, I'm feeling a little angelic right now, so I'm going to go with When You Wish Upon a Star, just because it is so, like, it is, like Rachel said, it's like the Disney theme song, but Be Prepared is the best villain song ever, and this was really hard, and I did not take the decision lightly, and I want everyone to know that. Yeah, I'm glad I recruited Dory for this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> You've broken ranks with your villain song story. I know. Oh, oh. You're on such a roll, Ryan. Yeah, you can just yeah, just go to Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be Rachel. Evil, be prepared. <laughs> yeah. When you wish upon a star for me. <laughs> okay, Jonathan, are you sending us into a tie? Or are you going to seal the deal? I think I'll send you into a tie. I think I'll, I'm, I'm choosing be prepared. Oh, oh my. So it's up to me now. <laughs> oh, oh my. I'm walking out. And it's the come Disney on, theme song. It, it's a Disney song tournament. I mean, out. come on. I might walk come out. on, Larry. Sometimes, Rachel, you out. just have to be prepared for the theme Thank song. Thank you. <laughs> Be prepared and gets yeah. my vote. Oh. <laughs> so Soft and sweet does not win the day here, okay? <laughs> oh, man, Rachel, I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> Nazi <laughs> hyenas <laughs> move to the third round. <laughs> and we move on to our next matchup. We have 
Number three seed, Colors of the Wind, and that is up against number 35 seed, A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. Ryan, you are up first. Oh, I'm up first. Uh, I'm going to vote Pocahontas again, Colors of the Wind. Great song. All right, Rachel. Um, I'm going to go with this, uh, Dream is a Wish. All right, Jonathan. This is a hard one. I think I'm going to go Colors of the Wind. Okay, and Dory? I hate to throw us into another tie, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to vote for A Dream is a Wish, Your Heart Makes. Y'all really, you just have to make this like a gender. <laughs> this is what that's, the fans have come that's for. That's the other problem, because clearly I'm voting for Colors of the Wind, um, and giving the male vote the, the push through for the second tie in a row. <laughs> So Colors of the Wind moves on. Sorry, Cinderella. Get back to the basement. All right. <laughs> Next up, we have number 18, The Bare Necessity. <laughs> Going up against number 14, Into the Unknown. Rachel, you're up. Necessities. Oh, that was a quick one for you. Yeah. All right, Jonathan. It's classic. Into the Unknown. Dory. Into the Unknown. Ryan. Sorry, Larry, another tiebreaker. Bare necessities. <laughs> <laughs> At least this time it's not a gender split. Okay. No. <laughs> um, oh, this one is tough, but I don't know if it's just the freshness or what, but I'm also going to vote for Into the Unknown and move from Frozen 2 into round three. I have to give it some love since, you know, Let It Go got knocked out in round three. Ballads aren't the only good songs. <laughs> It's really hard to write a fun, peppy song. <laughs> Next up, we have the number 10 seed, How Far I'll Go, versus the number 23 seed, Love is a Song. This is a hard one because it's like a new favorite versus a childhood favorite. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Love is a Song from Bambi. All right. And Dory? How Far I'll Go? That was the other one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go with... Uh... Go with my girl. Go with Moana. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to go with Moana too. How far I'll go. And Rachel? Yeah, same for me. Same here. Love of the song is perfectly lovely, but how far I'll go is amazing to me. So it moves on to the next round. So next up, we have number 38. I won't say I'm in love. Up against number 59, I'm wishing one song. All right, Dari, you are up first. I won't say I'm in love. And Ryan? I won't say I'm in love. Miss Rachel? Uh, I, I won't say I'm in love. And Jonathan? I won't say I'm in love. We have kicked the squeaky voice out of the contest. <laughs> with, I won't say I'm in love. Moving on. All right, now we have a You'll Be In My Heart, the number seven seed, up against the 39 seed, Show Yourself. Ryan, you're up. For yourself. Oh, well, that actually, that was a legitimate shock for me. All right, <laughs> Rachel? Uh, show Yourself for me. Okay, Jonathan? This one is hard because it's Tarzan versus Frozen gonna, 2, and they both have great to your soundtracks. Tarzan allegiance? I think I will. All right, and Dory? I'm going with Show Yourself. Oh, all right. I thought I thought I might have a tie for a second. I was like, oh no. <laughs> all right. I think I think I also would have voted for show yourself. Sorry, you'll be in my heart, but not today. Show yourself moves on and frozen two marches two songs into the third round. All right. Up next we have the villain song versus the love song. Number forty four, Mother Knows Best, up against number eleven, I see the light. Rachel, you Ooh. are up first. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> A tangled song. Tangle oh. versus tangle. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with Mother Knows Best. Oh, my favorite look, at, look at Rachel choosing the villain song <laughs> over the love song. I, we I are miss all villain evil. songs. Showing this surprise me every day. <laughs> Jonathan. I miss, I miss Disney villains. I wish me we too. got them again. Yeah. Fun ones too, like fun yeah. charismatic villains. I think I'll go with that last I see the light. Okay. Dory. Yeah, I'm going with 
I see the light as well. Sorry, not evil this round. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I do like villains. I want a good Disney villain again, but I'm a, I'm gonna go with the light side and go with I see the light. It's just a beautiful song. Yeah. Uh, I also would have to go with I see the light just barely. I think again, it's just that scene is so magical to me that it's like uh, I can't vote against it. <laughs> Here we go. Number 15, Kiss the Girl, up against number 19, Baby Mine. Jonathan, you're up first. I'll go with Kiss the Girl. They're both good, but Kiss the Girl, I was like, I listened to that all the time when I was younger, so. Okay, and Dory? I will also go with Kiss the Girl. All right, Ryan. I gotta go with the emotion with Baby Mine. Okay, now we swing back around to Rachel. Yeah. Uh, I'd actually go with Baby Mine. I think if you're just if you're just out, if you're just uh, looking song to song, I think it's the stronger song. But I, I like I love oh, that, obviously another uh, time another <laughs> stunning revelation in my life with Rachel. Um, I'm stunned. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you all just love that little, like, what was he in the background? Wah, 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 yeah. wah, wah. Exactly. <laughs> no, that, was, <laughs> that was Scuttle. Oh, Scuttle. He's the one. He's the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's where that baby mine moves through to the next round. Get out of here. Kiss the girl. We don't need all that smooching in our tournament. Thank you very much. Well, there's lack of smooching. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is true. Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't encourage that activity over here. <laughs> we no don't kissing on that. No. no. All right. Well, here we go with more smooching. This time amongst the felines with number two, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Going up against number 31, I'll make a man out of you. Oh! <laughs> uh -oh. Bill Ryan finally no! right with his Lion King allegiance. Dory, you're kicking oh, us off here. My God. <laughs> Ryan just had a full I know. body collapse. <laughs> um, I have to go with I'll make a man out of you. I just love that song so so much and um yeah that's where i'm, that's where I'm going that's where my heart is <sighs> all right ryan okay i have i listen to both songs constantly um <laughs> i'll make i'll make a man out of you it's such a really great song it's like so addicting but again i just lion king it just means more to me and can you feel the love tonight is just iconic so i have to go with that I mean, though it was a tough one. Yeah, <laughs> Rachel, did Timon and yeah. Pumbaa help sway you? <laughs> well, see, I think that Disney taking on gender politics is a little, uh, little oh. dicey. But, <laughs> but I really hate that introduction to "Can You Feel the Love Tonight." It's the worst. It ah, and uh, they just didn't trust their audience. They had to add this, this annoying introduction uh so i'm gonna go with uh, <coughs> okay jonathan where are you voting i'll make a man out of you yeah i i have to agree on this one so our number two seed our first our second actually top four goes down so when you wish upon a star and can you feel the love tonight have seen an exit in round two now into round three starting off with the number one seed a whole new world up against our number 49 seed this is halloween ryan you are first yeah oh. sorry uh nightmare before christmas fans i'm going against you again and going a whole new world Oh, wow. All right, Rachel. I do think A Whole New World is a better song. Okay, Jonathan. I think I'm going to go with This is Halloween. Yes, Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, do we have another, <laughs> another time on our hands, girl. Dory? That's what I like to hear. Yes, I'm with Why Jonathan on work? this one. Larry, it's up to you. Uh, Don't oh, fail man. me. Don't <laughs> fail me. Uh, uh, oh, my gosh. Okay. I have to admit, I, especially when I was younger, was so obsessed with a nightmare before Christmas. I, it was my jam, but so was Aladdin. Oh, it was like those two 
and The Lion King were probably the most repeated animated films when I was growing up. Ah, I can't. I can't do it. I can't vote against our number one. I've got to give it to a whole new world. The Russian oh. gets cut. The Russian gets cut. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jack. It had to happen. Dark day. <laughs> All right. So next up, we have an oceanic showdown with number 41, Four Unfortunate Souls, up against number eight, Under the Sea. Ooh. You are first. Me? Yes. I'm going with Under the Sea. Oh, my. Okay. And you, Jonathan? This isn't even a question for me. Poor unfortunate souls. <laughs> oh, not even a question. And Dory? I'm feeling my dark side. Poor unfortunate souls <laughs> over here. All right. Ryan? Evil. Poor unfortunate <laughs> souls. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about this Ursula love. I am all for poor unfortunate souls. Moving on to the next round. <laughs> So next up, we have a battle of the top 10 seeds. Our first top 10 matchup. We have number five, Beauty and the Beast, going up against number nine, The Circle of Life. So Jonathan, you are up first. I think I'll go with Beauty and the Beast. I love Angela Lansbury, and I watched that movie a lot more than Lion King when I was a kid. Really? So. All right. Story. Circle of Life. <laughs> So epic. nonchalant. It's epic. <laughs> it's so grand. I can still picture that opening scene. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Ryan. I just I just voted. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right. And Rachel, will you send us into a tie or close this one up? I think I'll send it into a tie. Go with Beauty and the Beast. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Oh. <laughs> Talk about a matchup I did not want to be the tiebreaker oh, for. I oh, sorry, Larry. God. I love them both so much. I'm holding at... my breath. <sighs> I have to keep my favorite Disney film in the competition because all of the other songs have been eliminated. So I have to vote for Beauty and the Beast. I'm so sorry, no! Circle of Life. <laughs> Whoa! I know, Ryan, you've been thwarted again. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, uh, now we have another kind of fun matchup here. We have number 17, Friend Like Me, going up against number 29, Be Prepared. So, Dory, you are up first. I feel like I go first on the hardest one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sweating. <laughs> I can't believe this. Like they are just both Again, such iconic yeah. performances. Yeah. Jeremy Irons versus Robert Robin Williams. This is yeah. Oh, I'm sweating. Um <laughs> I'm sweating too, but I think it's these lights that I'm under, uh, you know. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I I'm going to go with a friend like me. Oh. RIP Robin Williams. I love you. Best performance. I feel bad that I keep Betting on Robin Williams three times. So, yeah, be prepared. All right, be prepared, be prepared. Rachel. I'm going friend like me. Okay, Jonathan, oh, are you no. sending us into <laughs> another tie? Or are you wrapping Jonathan, it up? Please. Come on, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, like, I watched Aladdin so much more as a kid, but I really uh, like be prepared. <laughs> I think I have to go with Aladdin, friend like me. Oh, oh Ryan, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I would have voted be prepared with you, Ryan, on that one. Oh, but man. friend like me gets to, gets to win there. Moving along to another couple of big belting power songs. We have number three, Colors of the Wind, going up against number 14, Into the Unknown. Ryan, you are up first. Uh, into the unknown. All right, Rachel. Into the unknown. Oh, and <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, I love Colors of the Wind, but I think I'm going to have to go with Into the Unknown. And Dory. And I will make it a clean sweep. 
into the unknown. Well, almost, because I'm still here, Dory. Thanks. <laughs> uh, clearly, I voted Colors of the Wind, but Into the Unknown moves on to the next round. All right, and we are moving on to our next matchup with number 10, How Far I'll Go, up against number 38, I Won't Say I'm in Love. Rachel, you are up first. I think I'm going to go with Won't Say I'm in Love. Just a little bit more unique, I think. Okay, Jonathan. This is another really hard one. I think I'm going to have to go with I Won't Say I'm in Love. Oh, all right. I love Moana, but like I really like that song. And it's, Hercules has such great songs. Dory? Anything with the muses. I am also going to stick with the Hercules love going on. Oh, all right. And Ryan? Well, I'm not. I'm going to go on the Moana train. <laughs> how far I'll go. I also would have went with Moana and how far I go, Ryan. We're, we're on the same wavelength now. We're just too little too late, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Moving along, we have number 39, Show Yourself, up against number 11, I See the Light. Jonathan, you are kicking us off on this one. It's another one where it's like, I as a movie, I like Tangled more, but I think I like Show Yourself. Okay. So I, sh- I, I really like that song. I think I'm going to have to go with Show Yourself, <laughs> even though I love Tangled as a movie more. All right. Show Yourself first on the board, Dory. Uh, I think I'm going to go with I See the Light. All right, Ryan. I'm definitely more about time and age before recent films. Uh, show Yourself, Frozen 2 just came out a year ago. And then you have a film like Tangled that's been out for like almost a decade. So I see the light. Rachel, will you show your Tangled love? This is a hard one. Idina slays it and <laughs> show yourself. That is an amazing vocal. But I do love that scene in Tangled. I mean, it's just a song tournament, right? Um, so I got to go with Show Yourself. I think it's a better Ooh, song. All right. Okay. Huh. I'm back to a tie. Two, two. I think I'm also going to have to vote for Show Yourself. Uh, I know. Maybe it is recent bias. I'm not sure. But the the messaging of show yourself is just so powerful to me that I, it just resonates with me. So Idina, you have two songs into the next round. Look at frozen two. Hey, <laughs> next up. I think might, might turn out a lopsided <laughs> result. We'll see. No, I think Rachel will, will vote against the grain, but let's take a look. We have number 19, Baby Mine, up against number 31, I'll Make a Man Out of You. And Dory, you are up first. I'll make a man out of you. All right, Ryan. I'll make a man out of you. Rachel. Yeah, you're right. I pick Baby <laughs> Mine. I, I think it's it. a better written, better done <laughs> song. I'm sorry. It has... Uh, yeah, so. Uh, I have to go with I'll Make a Man Out of You. Uh, and this one does kill me because I just love Dumbo so much and I love Baby Mine, but I probably also would have to vote for I'll Make a Man Out of You. It's just it's so a gym good. song. I like it's to get so pumped good. up at the gym. Rachel, don't <laughs> Even you though love, the gyms, those gyms don't you love Donny Osmond? He seems right up your alley of people, Rachel. Well, I do love Donny. I do. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> so here we are. He's like our All most right. famous Utah, and I have to like him. Come on. Yeah. Now we're into the final eight songs and kicking off our tournament. Wow. Yep. We have the number one seed, A Whole New World, going up against our number 41 seed, Poor Unfortunate Souls. And oh. Ryan, you are starting us with this one. I've been riding the Ursula roller coaster a lot this tournament, um, and the Aladdin as well. Um, I got, I guess for this, I go with the songs I stick with me and I sing more. Um, I love you, Ursula, but I gotta go a whole new world here. That's like top ten for me. Okay, Rachel, <clears throat> unfortunate souls for me on this one. <laughs> 
She's like, Dad, it's the Little Mermaid. What am I going to do here? <laughs> okay, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, Poor Unfortunate Souls. I love that song. Oh, ooh, the raspiness taking over the love ballads. And Dory, will you make it a tie or are you going to close it up and give Ursula the win? I'm giving Ursula the win. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. A villain song into our final four. Also, mm. the number 41 seed into our final four. Look at that. Very girl. impressive. Oh, look at All Ursula with the Cinderella story. Expect, Larry? Mm. Oh, God. I think I might have picked the whole new world, but just barely. But that does mean all of our top four seeds have gotten the boots with the whole new world exiting. Wow. So our next best thing. I can hear what's happening, but they don't have a clue. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right, so our number five, our highest seed left, Beauty and the Beast up against our number 17 seed, Friend Like Me. And Rachel, you are first. I'm gonna go with Friend Like Me. All right, Jonathan. Oh, this one's hard. I'm gonna go with Beauty and the Beast. Okay, Dory. Ooh, um, it's, getting, <laughs> it's getting complicated. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with Friend Like Me. I, I yeah. gotta, I gotta yeah. stick with Robin Williams. Okay, and Ryan. I feel Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting is saying to me, Ryan, it's not your fault that you keep betting against me because <laughs> this is really hard, but I'm going friendly. Mm -hmm. All right. I probably would have went Beauty and the Beast on that one, but Friend Like Me finds its way into the final four, making sure that Aladdin is represented in that final part of the bracket. All right. Next up, we have the Power Ballad our number 14 seed into the unknown going up against our number 38 seed i won't say i'm in love jonathan you're up first oh i'm gonna go with i won't say i'm in love it's right. it's it's more of a classic i mean i love the frozen 2 soundtrack but like i've i've listened to that the other one almost like ever since it came out so i gotta go with the classic all right dory I'm also going to go with, I won't say I'm in love. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> okay, I didn't know we were going yeah. Eddie Professor up in here, but you know. Uh, <laughs> Ryan? Yeah, I won't go on the recency bias route with Into the Unknown, but it, a classic like I Won't Say I'm in Love Again from Hercules is a really great, good song. Okay, Rachel? Yeah, I, I would also go with uh, I Won't Say I'm in Love. I always list this as like one of the most underrated Disney songs, but apparently, you know, I have a group of friends right here with me that also just loves it. So Susan Egan, she yes, I won't say I'm in love. It has a clean sweep into the final. Look at that go! All right, well, so proud of us. We picked yes. really good in the fours. <laughs> Well, now, Except for <laughs> <laughs> will Frozen Two get redemption? <laughs> We'll see. Here we have our number 39, Show Yourself, up against our number 31 seed, I'll Make a Man Out of You. And Dory, you're up first. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to stand by Mulan. I've been riding with my girl Mulan <laughs> since the start of this bracket, and I can't leave her now. So I'll make a man out of you. Final choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan. Yeah, um, I'll make a man out of you. That's just a great, catchy song. I think I know where Rachel's going. Yeah, I'd go with Show Yourself. I love Idina on that track. I think she's so good. All right, Jonathan. Are you going to freeze Idina out of the contest, or are you going to send us into a tie? Sender, 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 Come on, it's such a good song. They're both so good. I'll, I'll send it into a tie as Larry can pick. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, as much as I do love Show Yourself, I have to vote for I'll Make a Man Out of You. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, yes. Idina. Oh. But we got we got to get Mulan. Ben, ben, ben. We got to get Mulan justice for no Oscar nominees. What in the world? No. 
Justice okay. for Mulan. Justice for Justice Mulan. For Lion King. <laughs> final four. These are our last two matchups before the final. We have number 41, Poor Unfortunate Souls, up against number 17, Friend Like Me. And Ryan, you are up first. Damn it, Robin Williams versus Ursula. Um, <gasps> a friend like me. All right, friend like me, Rachel. This is really hard. Um, I think I also am going to go with friend like me. Oh, she has so good. <laughs> broken allegiance with the final <laughs> Little Mermaid song left. Jonathan. I mean, I love them both, but I got to go with Ursula. <laughs> Uh oh, Dory, it's all on you Darkness now. Flows what inside. will happen? I mean, this is incredibly stressful. <laughs> They're both such good, iconic songs and scenes in the movies. But I have to go with Friend Like Me. I just have oh. to. Yeah. All right, I think I might have given the edge to Ursula personally on that one. But Friend Like Me heads into the finale. Now, will it go up against our number 38 seed, I Won't Say I'm In Love, or our number 31 seed, I'll Make a Man Out of You. Rachel, you are kicking us off. Once, I won't say I'm in love for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that Poor Unfortunate Souls and Friend Like Me was a tough one for Rachel because I feel like there's been a lot in these last couple rounds where she's just like bopping through. So uh, I'd like to see a tough I, one every now and then for you, Rachel. It's not that I hate making a man out of you. I just think it's kind of insane that it's this high in the bracket. <laughs> but whatever, Over a couple works, for me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Jonathan? I, I think I'm I think I'm going to go with Rachel All right. I won't say I'm in love with the second vote Dory mm, I feel really bad but I'm going to have to leave my girl Mulan here it has been lovely <laughs> traveling through the bracket with you Mulan <laughs> but I'm going to go with I won't say I'm in love all right, Ryan. How would you no, vote? I'm I'm, I'm going to give it the sole vote. I'll I'll make it out of you. <laughs> I'm voting with you there, Ryan. So it's it's the two of us on this one. But regardless, I won't say I'm in love. It advances as a number thirty-eight seed to the final, wow. giving so us the thirty-eight yeah. seed. I won't say I'm in love against the seventeen seed friend like me, Jonathan. You are our first voter for the final. Love them both, but I think I'm going to have to go with I Won't Say I'm In Love. All right. Dory? And I am going to have to pick Friend Like Me. Okay. Ryan? Friend Like Me. <laughs> with confidence and gusto. <laughs> Rachel? Yeah, to me, this is pretty easy. A friend Like Me. All right, I also have to vote for Friend Like Me, meaning, according to our panel here, the best Disney song of all time goes to the legendary Robin Williams' Friend Like Me from the iconic Disney Renaissance film, Aladdin. I can live with that. I can totally <laughs> live with that. We definitely had a much different bracket than the fan votes over on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Their final four looked quite different other than one when it came down to it. But we want to know, what do you think? Do you agree with us? Is a friend like me the ultimate final number one? Do you think we made some insane decisions along the way? Were you ready to jump off of Pride Rock like Ryan? Several <laughs> many, many times. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts and opinions. We look forward to hearing about your favorite Disney songs in the comment section down below. And of course, a thank you, thank you, thank you to my four guests for joining me here today. Let's go around and everybody tell the great folks watching this video where they can find you across the internet, starting with Rachel. 
You can find me at Rachel's Reviews, all of our social media, iTunes, YouTube, and on Rotten Tomatoes. So check that out. Also at the Hallmarkies podcast. All right. So Jonathan. You can find me pretty much everywhere at John J. North. And on YouTube, you can search I Heart Movies. And I have two podcasts, I Heart Movies. And I just started a new one called Every Version Ever, which is about some adaptations of famous literary works. All right. Dory. You can find me on All the Feels podcast and at All the Feels on Twitter and at All the Feels on Facebook. Perfect. And Ryan. You can find me on YouTube at Ryan O'Toole. I have Twitter as well, um, Facebook, Instagram, Letterboxd. I do written reviews over there. I also have a podcast called The Fallen for Film Podcast where me and my co-host Colin Williams dive into all the newest trends in movie news and talk tons of movie content over there. Thank you, Larry, for having me. Okay, well, thank you all again so much. Of course, I will have all of their links to their channels and their social media in the description down below. And if you did enjoy this tournament, if you enjoyed this video, if you were voting along on Twitter and Instagram, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to this channel so you are always up to date on my latest videos. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.